Man, I have been waiting to make a video like this for so long now, bro. I just, I can't believe it's taken this long for something like this to happen, but hey, better late than never, our, our foot's in the door now. So what am I talking about? Well, if you guys have paid attention to gaming the last couple years, esports has blown up. You know, Fortnite had a lot to do with that, with them adding a $100 million prize pool for their competitive tournaments and their uh, cash cups, whatever they call them, I don't even know. Um, but Fortnite had a lot of eyes on its competitive scene, other games up their prize pool, and esports and as a whole, just with viewership and people playing, like, it's, it's thriving right now. And sports games are in that as well. You look at NBA 2K, they have the 2K League where, you know, they have players that get drafted by an organization to play for that NBA team on their esports side of things. Madden has the, I think it's called the Madden Championship Series, where I, I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm pretty sure players represent NFL organizations. I'm not even sure what NHL does, but I'm pretty sure they have a pro scene too. And to be honest, the MLB community, and I don't know the exact numbers, this could just be me talking about it and looking like an idiot, but I mean, from what I've seen, I feel like the NHL community and the MLB community are fairly comparable in size. The point here is that MLB The Show does not have any competitive scene. Now that does not mean that there's no competitive players. There's just no pro players You can't have a legitimate pro player if there's no competitive scene for them to do anything with it so uh, like, you know, guys like Pitching Rebel, DGOS, Kyle, Magunski, guys like that, those are the top competitive guys, and if MLB The Show ever had a true, com uh, true competitive scene, they would be the pros, you know what I'm saying? And there are tournaments that are put on every year. The biggest one that comes to mind is the guys over at FOS at their, you know, March Madness tournament at the end of the year where there's like 64, like 120, I don't even know what it is, but it's a super big tournament. They put it on every year. They do a great job with it, but tournaments like that and every Every tournament up to this point have all been run by community members with no like studio support like SDS PlayStation Sony they're not backing this all prize pools come from the community whether it's like crowdfunding from the community or just one guy puts up money it doesn't matter the point is SDS has had nothing to do with those I probably speak for a lot of people when I say we have been longing for a like a just a little bit of competitive support for MLB the show some sort of esports some sort of you know help with building this game and growing it and PlayStation put out a tweet yesterday that I think this is a great first step I don't know if it's going to you know what's gonna happen after this but it's a great first step so let's talk about this this is the tweet in question it's from the uh, official PlayStation account and it says you're on deck enter the MLB the show 19 ps4 tournaments fall cup and and compete for weekly prizes and if you look at the image attached uh, it says weekly rewards with $25,000 in prizing that's great I mean MLB the show PlayStation Sony that big entity having a tournament of their own where players from the game can compete and win money that's a great first step to adding a competitive scene so in this video I wanted to go through this uh, you know thing they're talking about this fall cup I want to tell you guys the rules of it how you can enter if you would like to play how you go about you know winning money if you if you are good enough so let's talk about it all right so if you click that link that that tweet has and I'll try to include everything in the description so you guys can go check it out for yourself but if you click that link on the tweet it takes you to a PlayStation blog where it says MLB the show 19 ps4 tournaments fall cup signups start today so if we go down and scroll and take a look at what this is saying I'm gonna read some of this October is always an exciting time for baseball fans which is why I'm thrilled to announce the MLB The Show 19 PS4 Tournaments Fall Cup for gamers in the US and Canada no matter your skill level you will be able to compete against both friends and others in the PlayStation community. By the way I should point out this is written by Steven Roberts who is the VP of Global Competitive Gaming at Sony Interactive Entertainment. If we keep going down this article it says starting today you can sign up to compete for over 25 grand in prizing there will be weekly prizing worth up to $4,000 uh, an in-game currency for competitors and a $10,000 grand prize for the best of the best. The tournament is open to eligible participants with the first qualifier beginning this Saturday, October 19th, and the last one on November 10th. There will be two qualifiers happening per weekend, and the final will be on the 16th of November. And for PlayStation Plus subscribers,
subscribers. MLB The Show 19 is free, blah, blah, blah. So weekly qualifiers with in-game currency as some sort of prize. So I believe that is stubs, but let's go ahead and take a look at some more information on this. All right, so if you click a couple more links, it'll take you to the official rules. And I guess this is actually put on in association with uh, ESL, which is an esports. Uh, I don't know if it's an esports league or if it's a, just some, some sort of esports support, like maybe MLG or Game Battles. Um, but you can look at the, the rules and everything right here. Player eligibility, you must be at least 16 years old. You must live in the United States or Canada. So if you're living in Australia or England, whatever it is, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to play. Um, now, if we want to take a look at how this tournament is actually put together. So we have the Fall Cup schedule with all these qualifiers here. So the first qualifier or the first two will be this Saturday and Sunday. The next two will be the 26th and the 27th, then the 2nd and the 3rd of November, then the 9th and the 10th of November, and then, and then November 16th will be the actual final of everything. So let's take a look at the rules here. So it's a Swiss format, four rounds, the game settings. You're going to be doing this in Diamond Dynasty, so it's not like play now, uh, you know, regular teams. It's actually your own Diamond Dynasty team and, you know, how you want to build it. Um, three inning games. That's very important. These aren't nine inning games. It's only three inning games games so you know it's like BR but on Hall of Fame difficulty so that may be good it may be bad I don't know uh, guest pitch off quick counts off strike zone on hot zone off box off perfect umpires um, injuries off fast play so yeah there you go then for the points you get 20 points for a win and you get the maximum of 80 points per cup and 640 for all cups or you get five points for a loss maximum 20 points per cup so I guess if you go 4-0, and then you get the 80 points. So I don't know how many games you're actually able to play. So for qualification, the top 128 point scorers across all eight qualifiers will be invited to the cup finals. And for tiebreakers, they have the most wins and best win percentage. So this is something important you guys got to realize. If you are interested in playing in this tournament and trying to win some sort of money or some sort of prize in this tournament, you have to play in all these qualifiers. Like technically you don't have to play, but pretty much 99% of the people who actually qualify at the end of this will have played in every single one so you better open your weekends up if you're interested in playing this because if you miss a qualifier then you're gonna miss out on an opportunity to get a lot of points especially if you're good enough to get like 80 points per qualifier so obviously it's in diamond dynasty like i've said uh there's player limits and stuff so for your lineup you can have three 95 or higher diamond players and you can have three 85 to 94 diamond players and the rest has to be 84 overall and below. So you can only have six diamonds in your starting lineup. For your rotation, you can have two 95 plus starters, one mid-tier diamond guy, and then the remaining two have to be golds. And for your bullpen, two 95 plus bullpen guys, two uh, mid-tier diamond guys, and then three 84 or below. Okay, so let's say you make it all the way to the cup finals. Let's say you finish in the top 128 of the qualifiers so you actually get to play in the actual cup finals so it's a 128 person bracket once again it's on hall of fame up through the top eight it's going to be more three inning games with single elimination so there's probably going to be a lot of flukes with like br style gameplay so keep that in mind uh in the round of four it's going to be six innings and then in the final it'll be a nine inning game then there's more technicalities when it comes to like matches if you have a no show and stuff like that so if you win your game let's say you're playing in the qualifiers and you win your game you have to either report your win on the ESL website or you can do it through the tournament app on PlayStation 4 now make sure you guys are taking screenshots taking videos of your results because coming from somebody who's played in a lot of competitive games going back to game battles in 2008 uh, a lot of people will try to say they won the game when they actually didn't and there's no excuse nowadays for you not to get some sort of proof that you won whether it's a screenshot whether it's a um, a video clip of something happening whatever it is make sure you're getting that proof you can all do it on your ps4 everybody has the same features so there should be no excuse for you not to have any sort of footage so i'm gonna go ahead and just skip to the next part if you guys want to look at any of the technicalities or any of the rules in here feel free to go check that out for yourself it'll be linked in the description of course now we have prizing so these are just for the qualifiers so I guess you don't actually win money um, 
unless you actually make it to the top like uh, of the finals unless you make it to the top eight so let's say you make it to the qualifiers if you win the qualifiers if you finish with the most points and you win whatever it is you get over a million stubs in the game if you finish in second place you get 600k stubs three to four you get 150 five to eight you get 67,000 stubs nine through 16th you get 24k 17 to 32 you get 11,000 and 33 to 64 you get 5,000 so you get some sort of stubs in there then if you actually make it to the cup finals if you win you get a four thousand dollar prize uh if you finish second you get two thousand dollars if you finish third and fourth you get a thousand dollars and then five through eight you get five hundred dollars and then there's more legal things Things you should look through just to make sure everything's good there but that's pretty much the gist of it so every weekend there will be online qualifiers play in those qualifiers I don't exactly know how it's all set up I don't know who's home team uh, you know who you're playing what times you're playing it I don't exactly know how all that works that should have information coming out soon that's kind of a general basis of how this is gonna work now how do you actually sign up for this so you can do it in a couple different ways if you go to uh, play.eslgaming.com go up here to where it says games and then you can click on the show 19 and then they have these qualifiers right here that you can go ahead and try and sign up for you just click on these uh, you sign up you got to log in and make an account on this actual um, website and everything or another thing you can do which is what I'm gonna do is you can go to your um, PS4 homepage and I have this notification right here that says there are new tournaments for MLB The Show 19. I'm going to go ahead and click this and I'm going to go ahead and sign up through my PlayStation directly. I'm going to go ahead and register and do all this. So I'm not going to show you guys the complete sign-in process because I don't want to, you know, give out my email and, and password and all that stuff, right? But basically, you'll have to link your accounts from PlayStation to ESL and stuff like that. But it's, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty basic way to do it. You know, coming from somebody who's been around competitive gaming for like over 10 years this is a pretty streamlined way to do it so if you have any questions I'm sure you can find some tutorials on ESL or if you want to pop into one of my streams maybe I can give you a hand I don't know it should be pretty self-explanatory I really think this is a good thing man I hope I did a good enough job explaining how everything works it's a little bit confusing because we haven't seen anything like this on MLB the show before so this is new to me as well as it is new to you so I hope I did a decent enough job explaining this but dude I think this is a really good thing for the game man once again just because we have a 25 $5,000 uh, prize pool tournament does not mean that you know we are now officially like uh, esports we're ready blah 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 like there's still a lot of work we have to do to build up the scene but if we get continuous support from SDS in little tournaments and stuff like this I think that's a great thing man it's a great first step we'll see where it continues to go I know for sure I want to be involved in the esports scene of this uh, game whether it be playing whether it be uh, giving analysis or whatever it is I I'm going to be involved in esports with this game so I'm really excited about this man hopefully you guys are excited as well um, as long as everything works out I'm going to be streaming the qualifier games that I'm gonna be playing this weekend so if you guys want to watch come through twitch.tv slash kooks 46 but other than that guys that's all I have for you here angel in the outfield will be out a little bit later drop a thumbs up on the video if you're excited let me know down in the comments if you're gonna be playing in this uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one peace